Thank you for coming by. This is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. I'm a hypnotherapist, a life coach, and I, I channel. And I see images and I try to decipher them. This is all an experiment for entertainment purposes only. And I just love that you guys want to come by and subscribe. Thank you very much. Um, this is a place for peaceful conversations and support. And I'm so glad to be growing this little community. Is going. I'm going to get into um, Trump's health and I'm going to look into these raids on Alfie Oaks and the poly market owner. Um, and will Trump be able to take revenge out on all his enemies? Uh, so, yeah. And then I wanted to look into Elon Musk and Vivek Ramachawami's um, Department of Governmental Efficiency and if that will work. And I have some thoughts already, I think. I can't, just logical thoughts. But um, yeah, so Polly Market, Elfie, will, uh, will he take revenge, Trump's health, and um, will the Republicans support all his circus uh, clown car picks, you know, for the cabinet and what that looks like and the recess picks. So let's get started. It got warm. It's warm here, even though it's November, Arizona. Um, those of you who know that I do my mural, I was doing that this week, but I am not, you know, I'm taking a couple days cause it's a weekend and I need a break and my back was hurting and, but I'll start that up next week. And so this is what I'm going to do for the next couple days. I'm going to put out a few videos and see what you guys think about them. Um, those of you who are MAGA people, unless you're being very kind and respectful, I don't think you need to be here. Um, I'd love to have conversations and help us understand each other. Because I do think Americans will become united eventually. But none of disrespectful or vile, dis, you know, talking or all caps of yelling. Not necessary here. You move on. All right. Otherwise, glad you guys are all here. All right. Um, so Alfie Oaks, let's just start there. He's the guy whose house got raided. He was, everybody's been saying, oh, did he have something to do with the election? He's a big MAGA supporter. Well, what I did read, and it was in the New York Times, right after it happened was, and I'm going to maybe get some of these details a little bit goofy, but he applied, I think it was during COVID, some of that COVID money he got um, for small businesses under 70 employees or something, they were able to apply for these grants or this money to help support them. And he got like $200 million, but... But I think it was 200 million. Anyway, but he, his employees, he had like 3,500 employees because he has this organic farm business. And so he sold it or he gave it to his, one of his um, employees, one of his managers, and he created this sub company that applied. And somehow that all got channeled into the larger. So it was fraud, basically. So that's why all the uh, different departments, the Department of Defense was there because I think it had something to do with the contract with them as well. So they were there. Um, IRS, I forget all the other groups were there. Three different alphabet soup um, departments. So that's why. <clears throat> yeah, he is a big MAGA supporter and he did try to commit fraud or he did commit fraud and he owed a lot of money. He didn't pay back. So they were raiding him and getting all, so he's in trouble. So that's that. I don't necessarily think it was anything specific in, in, for election interference. Sometimes my words don't match my brain. All right, I'll have some lemon water. Okay, now that was the Alfie Oaks. Poly Market guy, he's the owner, and this really concerned me because not him but he has a company an app that bets and they use cryptocurrency as part of the denomination or the currency to bet and a lot of it they bet on elections so he said it was all on the up and up they didn't persuade him. nothing happened it was all fine he didn't get arrested but they gathered all of his computers and gathered all of his information because they want to make they thought it was um, 
also fraud with somebody with, I think, um, if they were violating a law when it comes to paying people to vote for somebody else, you know, because, and I, I really don't see how they can even let that exist. What, you know, if you want to bet somebody's going to be elected, how do you get, you know, and you want to get votes and all you do is try to, and it could be locally too. It doesn't have to be big ones. So bad, bad idea. So that's why he got raided. Another money, 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 money. Young guy too. I think he's like only 28. Um, I just pulled these. I have my tea, uh, tea leaf fortune cards. These are sort of cards based on tea leaves. I haven't really completely absorbed all their meanings yet, but I do work on them pretty periodically. This one is chain. And the it says chain of events that affect your life. But I think I'm thinking of these two raids are chained together. They're chained together with money and fraud, corporate greed, money, money, power, 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 money. Trump and his people and his circus car of uh, cabinet members are want to dismantle the government and put more corporate money. Even It's already in there, but they want to make it more dominant. So we'll have an oligarchy. I think that's what they want. And they want to dumb down the public even more and make it so we have to they're going to save us, you know, because we won't know what to do and they don't want us educated enough to know what to do. Not meaning us, but people, they want to make everybody stupid and we're going to save you. And that's what they do. That's what authoritarians do. They just say, well, see how bad it is over there where they have to take care of themselves in a democracy. I'll take care of you. I know exactly what to do and I'll save your ass, you know, kind of thing. Anyway, so I got those two. Um, <clears throat> Now, I channel, so I get into people's energies, and I, I'm i going to go into Trump's. I have felt, like when I saw him on that first night when he was um, accepting the, you know, the presidency, he was on the stage with the family and Melania. He just looked out of it. He looked like he wasn't, he looked uh, dazed, but somebody had commented on my channel that, um, he had four rallies that day or something. Maybe. Um, and the other day when I saw him meet Biden, he looked okay. He was very... But when he came down the stairs off the plane, he looked pissed and he looked weird. He just looked angry and he looked um, annoyed and and also... I don't know. Not happy is not the right word, but... Like he was not feeling well either. So I don't know if he's, I think he has a up and downs, obviously. And he has bowel issues that people have mentioned. But I'm going to go into his health for the moment and see how he's going to do. And then I'm going to go in to see if he feels like he needs to take revenge, which I think I know the answer already. But Trump, okay. Yeah. And I've seen before at his desk and he's, Musk with his list. Musk has given him a list of things that he wants to accomplish. Corporate money, corporate, you know, uh, eliminating this, eliminating that, eliminating that stuff. Vance, you know, Vance is vaguely there. I feel like they're a little bit more tuned into each other now. Before he was out with his donors, Vance was doing his um, donor dance. And now I feel like everybody's settling in Trump. I've always seen as a broken cake on the floor. Now he's in the middle of the circus tent on the ground in the dirt and it's dirty and nasty. And he's picking that all that dirt up into his cake. Um, those of you who've been here before know that picture, that image I have. And Vance is very vague and smoky. But astrologers that I listen to say they have very similar or uh, different aspects in their charts that match up. And I think they don't trust each other at the moment, or Trump for sure doesn't trust fans. He doesn't see how he can use them and now, how he can use him now. Um, and 
let me just feel Trump. He's, he's still tired. I feel like I want to lean this way a little bit. Um, he is relying on a lot of people. I know he he's in charge. I don't, I've never felt him not be in charge. I do feel like he doesn't track sometimes and he has a hard time staying focused, but I do feel like he still wants to be in charge, but he's relying a lot on his, um, staff, people to give him information so he can make decisions. He's always done that, but I think it's much more, um, important now for him to day to day to get this information because he sure doesn't want to look stupid and he'll fire anybody that makes him look stupid. That's the feeling I get is he's almost scared. I, I'm not scared isn't the right word, but you know, when an older person gets confused and they get real irritable because they can't remember stuff, his dementia's, you know, his brain is degrading. So that's a real thing. So it's in that ballpark where he's depending on these other people, his staff, and they're giving him good ideas. And he he has, you know, he remembers his strength and his power or whatever. And he wants to be president. And he has his ideas. But it's it's at the point now where he'll, he's going to get more and more lost in confusion as the days and weeks and months roll on. <clears throat> his health. Um, like he was giving that speech at uh, Mar-a-Lago the other day. We talked about RFK Jr., head of health and human services. Um, the worm brain guy. He has limited energy. And I've seen it before where he takes substances that'll keep him up. Some legal, some not legal for entertainment purposes only. He is, uh, he's fading. The feeling I have is he's fading slowly, but surely <clears throat> it was more pronounced because of all the rallies, but now it'll be over time. He'll go lower and lower now. Cause I can, you know, I get in their energy and I see things from their perspective and see how, what their free will wants them to do and how, you know, time shows up. Um, Will you take revenge? Oh, yep. He wants to. Definitely wants to. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. It's an elephant. So how I take this as elephants are slow. They're big, but they're slow and they walk steadily. But I don't think he wants to have this elephant of revenge and he wants to plot along and he wants to get everybody in its wake. But um, I don't, he's going to make a big deal. He's going to get all these Republicans talking about it. And they're all going, yeah, well, uh, hmm, yeah, he can't do that. No, there will be some not legal thing, but there will be some admonishment. There's nothing that he can do to Liz Cheney, not from the Department of Justice that I know of. She didn't do anything wrong. It's not like we live in Russia where he's going to send her to the gulag. But there will be a... propaganda beatdown. That's all I can think of about the name of it. Like a punching, she'll be the punching bag of propaganda. She has been already, but that's the feeling I get. Same as Adam Kissinger, and he will get people into the departments that he's picking, will say things about them, and they'll do an investigation, and they will find nothing, but they're going to drag them around. So he will want to do that. There will be no long-term legal ramifications, they won't. And Adam Kissinger is fantastic. He'll, he'll say, bring it on, I bet, because they can't do anything. Um, and they will do that for multiple people that Trump doesn't like. But that will fade because he will be so busy with managing the chaos of his circus tent that we're not managing it because he doesn't manage, but he'll have juggling all the different things that 
um, he'll assign that to somebody and it'll just kind of trickle away. Will he take revenge on Hunter Biden? I don't know. Somebody had said if, if he got Biden, he, Biden asked him if he would. So that way he, he doesn't pardon his own son. I feel like other people will. Trump may take his hands off, but I think other people will still do it. That's sad. <clears throat> and his health, um, will there be some sort of change in his health between now and the inauguration? Right now, he seems okay. Um, that thing in December at the end of the year makes him really mad. There's going to be a big change. Something happens where um, it's going to be a big fight about something. And he knows it already. He knows there's something that he's trying to keep away from the public. And I think some of these appointments that he's making, because the recess, the... Uh, Congress and the Senate is going to vote and wants to be in recess. He's going to appoint these people to do things while they're in recess. And so they can get the ball rolling and rolling and kind of cover up stuff. Yeah. Elon Musk and Ramaswamy, a new department of, I, I don't see Musk able to live in a world where Trump and him align, even though he went and rallies with him and he got people to vote for him. They are both narcissistic sociopath. Well, I don't know if Musk is a sociopath. He's he's on the spectrum, autism or um, Asperger's or something. So he doesn't have the ability to be a sociopath. He has the ability of being unemotional, and he doesn't. He only gets obsessed about what he wants to do and create and make money. And he's gotten more and more power hungry as he's aged. But it's a funny thing, and this is for entertainment purposes. I have seen him not live that long, and I don't know why. Um, like a stroke or something like that. And I, I am, you know, not sure why that would be. But um, Ramaswamy is a, a kind of a bootlicker. So he will totally do anything. They will try and make, they will make it a department. I think they will make a department. I think the Senate will create a small department. It'll grow, but it won't. It'll be geared towards corporations, a private public partnership to kind of, they'll say it's to save money, to be more efficient, but it really is just to put money in the corporation's pocket and to get them embedded in the government. Um, that's what that's about. Ultimately. And will the Republicans support his picks, his uh, circus cabinet, his circus car, clown car picks? Because Matt Gates is really disliked on both sides of the aisle, really. And... People have said that is it, you know, they're throwing him out there just to distract from getting the other picks in. Well, if you don't want him, give me the other ones. I don't see him being uh, confirmed to Matt Gates. Uh, will the ethics committee's report on Matt Gates come out? I know Mike Johnson just put forth, um, I don't know what it would be. A vote he wants to take a vote he doesn't want it to come out so the congress so right now they have a where yet we have a majority in the senate and i don't know in the congress we don't so i don't i don't think it's going to come out unfortunately but i don't think he'll be attorney general will the republicans support trump's other picks i think they will question well the senate will question all these picks like Robert F. Kennedy for Health and Human Services. And I forget who he wanted to oversee the military. Somebody, oh, the guy from Fox News who was a veteran but still had no experience with the Pentagon and the Department of Defense. That's crazy, huge budget, very complicated, very heavy. Um, I don't think he will be put in place. I think they'll vote him down. I don't think he'll get on there. Um, and then, oh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Yes. From the Congress or the Senate's perspective. 
He might get in there. The anti-vaxxer. I just feel like you should put a doctor in there or a scientist. Why would you put somebody who... But it's, a lot of these people haven't had these very high jobs yet, and they will get in there and realize how complex it is. I believe this will happen, and that's including one of those. And um, Robert F. Kennedy, table. Hard work ahead, yeah. I think they have all these ideas, like presidents or any, you know, pol politician says, I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to save you thousands of dollars in taxes every year. But once they get in there, most of the time they can't actually complete their promises. Although Biden did. I don't know why people can't see that. I still am mad they didn't blow their own horn enough. The word didn't get out. They didn't have enough communication, marketing, branding, branding for Brandon, Dark Brandon. Uh, oh yeah, and Tulsi Gabbard for Department of National Intelligence. Hmm. I don't know why this card. Younger woman, younger man. Dealings with relationship with younger woman, younger man. Hmm. I'll tell C. Cabbard. She's excited to do it. I think she might. They'll. They'll. Not, they'll uh, confirm her. Older man, dealings with relation. A lot of people. Older man, younger man, younger woman. Hmm. And marriage. Yeah, I I don't I know she's she used to be a Democrat, she went Republican. I she's another crazy one, but I feel like she'll be she'll be confirmed, I think. I think. Unless that younger man thing is something about her doing something. Um you know, having some sort of exploits that make her look bad. Okay. And the recess appointments. Well, they do. A couple. Three. Yeah. I think they'll do a few. I don't know which ones, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I think they'll put some people in. The Senate or the Republicans don't have the, the cojones to fight him. They're scared to death. And I don't understand it. Oh, yes. Um, I was going to pull, I forgot last time. I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael card. I'm going to, he's cuts all that drama away from us, gives us a feeling of safety and strength and courage. What did Archangel Michael want us to know? Hmm, this one. Detached from the situation. Archangel Michael. I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowledge and the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and in this situation. Whatever we believe to be true is true. Live in a state of peace. Limit as best you can any impact from the fear and the doomsday that People are screaming. Get in your body. Do some mindfulness exercises. Feel your senses. Know where you are. Take some deep breaths. Sit in your chair. Sense your body. And when you become, when you get into the space and you're not in your head and the anxiety doesn't take over, you're like, oh, I'm okay right now. Nothing bad is happening to me. Um, health is good. Everything is okay right now. I'm not going to get too far back, too far forward. I'm just going to stay here and take one day at a time. And you will manage that instead of the crazy. Okay, guys? Till next time.